listeners, I hope you are fine and doing great. In this video, I am going to introduce you to two new things. Number one, I am going to introduce you to a TIA portal software that is used to program Siemens PLCs. Additionally, I am going to introduce you to a trainer board that contains a Siemens PLC and we are going to use TIA portal to program the PLC and see it running. So without wasting any time, let's start with TIA portal. The very first thing you need to do is you need to open this TIA portal. I'm using TIA portal's 15th version. So in the opening window, I'm going to click on create new project because we are going to start with a new project. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to name the project. So I'm going to go with the same default name and that's it and click create. It will be stored in this default path or you can change the path as well. Now this is the project overview of your project which you have just created. There are certain steps that you need to do but currently in today's video I'm just going to go with the basics and, and show you how you can simply program a letter diagram into your Siemens PLC. So I'm not going to go into any other details. I'm just going to click on write PLC program. As soon as you click on it, it will ask you to select the device. So to create a new device that is with CPU you have attached. So these are all the supported CPUs with TIA portal 15 version. So I have a PLC that has 1200 series CPU. From the list, I'm going to select my attached CPU, which is this one, CPU 1215C DC DC DC. And from this CPU, there are two options. I have this one, which has a memory of 125 KB. So that's it. So currently there are no other blocks present over here. The only block which you can see is the main one. So you can double click on it to open this block. For different things, you can add different blocks. For example, for visualization, for motion control, you can add different blocks over here. We will hopefully we'll do this in some later video. So inside this main block, you have options to design your letter diagram. So I'm going to go quickly with it. And over here, you can see that currently there is one rung present. I'm going to add a few blocks over here so that I can mimic an AND gate using two inputs and an output. So for input, I can use this switch. If I click over here, it will be inserted. And I need another block in series with it and then an output. So these are my three blocks that I need. Now I need to assign the physical addresses to these blocks. So this first block is going to correspond to an input which is present at I0.0. .0. The second one will be attached with I0.1 and the output would be attached with Q0.0. So if both of these two inputs are on, the output will turn on. So these two inputs are in fact the inputs of an AND gate. And now if I want to program a bit more, I'm going to add a new rung. And over here, I'm going to add a new input element. After that, I'm going to attach an output. And in fact, I want to mimic an OR gate. So I need a new rung over here. I'll attach a new input device and then I'll close the rung over here. So these two inputs are attached in OR fashion. So if any of these two inputs are on, the output will turn on. I'm going to use the physical addresses of I1.4 and I1.5 with this one. And for the output, I'm going to use Q0.1. So now my first rung is mimicking an AND gate, whereas my second rung is mimicking an OR gate. Here is a very simple program. Now let's move to the trainer board and attach the connections physically to the PLC. Okay, so here I have a trainer board that contains my PLC, which is S7 1200 series PLC. Uh, if you can see over here, CPU 1215C DC 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 is written. So this is the model of my PLC that I have. And then on this trainer board, I have few input indication LEDs. I can attach certain inputs over here and I can get the outputs from over here. There are also output indication LEDs. Apart from that, I have some options to provide the inputs. For example, I have some toggle switches, some momentary pressed push buttons. Over here, I have the analog input and outputs. And from there, I can produce some analog input. So these are the things present over here uh, on this trainer board. I have the option of this interface connector where I can attach another board with this PLC trainer board. And I won't be going into details of that right now. So for an AND gate, I'll be using these two inputs. If both of these inputs are high, then this first output would be high. So I'm going to connect these two inputs using two wires to these 
toggle switches. So this toggle switch number one is going over here and toggle switch number two is going over here. And for the OR gate, I'm going to use the momentary pressed buttons which are present on this side and I'm going to attach the first button with this input which is input 1.4 and the second button with this input which is input 1.5. So if any of these two buttons are pressed, so I've made a PLC program that is going to mimic the OR condition of these two buttons. So if any of these two buttons are pressed, the second LED will turn on. And to, and to provide a common output, I have to provide 24 volts at this terminal. So I'm going to do that over here. That's it. This is my connection, which I am going to use. And now I'm going to upload the PLC program, which we have made over here into this PLC, and then we will run it. Now, as we have attached the connections, now let us download this program into the PLC and try to run it. So for download, you can click on this button, which says download to device. So for the very first time, you have to connect your PC with the PLC. Once done, for the next time, if you save these settings, for the next time, it won't ask you this. So the PLC which I'm using has the capability to connect to the programming PLC using an internet protocol. So I'm going to use the internet port and I've already connected the wire with my laptop. And the interface card which I'm using is this one. This is the LAN card of my laptop with which I have attached my PLC. So I'm selecting this thing. After this, click this start search. It will try to search whether there is a PLC present over here on this network or not. So you can click on this flash LED and see that the lights on your PLC are flashing. This is to make sure that your PLC has connected with your PC. If for the first time you're running this setting and your PC can't recognize the PLC, then it will ask you or it will assign a particular IP address to the PLC. Normally the Ethernet card of your laptop has a floating type of or a dynamic IP address. So if for the first time your PC cannot connect with your PLC, then you don't need to worry about it. Tia Portal will offer you to assign a static IP and it will do it on its own. So you just need to allow the Tia Portal to assign or fix an IP address for your PC and then it will connect with your PLC. So once done, we can move on. We can select this PLC and click on load. So if everything is fine, it will ask you to save these settings as default. So yes, I can save these settings. It will take some time to load the program into the PLC and if everything is right, we can go with the load or if something is already running on your PLC, it will ask you or it will give you a warning that something is running and won't allow you to load the new program. It will give you an option over here to stop everything what is whatever is running. So you can select that option to stop it, but currently as nothing is running, so it is not giving me any option over here. So all I, I need to do is click this load button. Over here, you can see that downloading to device completed without error. So now we can finish this thing. Now we need to check whether this program is running correctly or not. So for that, we can click on this monitoring on off. This will connect our program with the online status of the PLC. So whatever is changing on the PLC will change in our software as well. So now over here, you can see that the PLC is currently in stop mode. So I can click on this run mode to convert our PLC into run mode. It will ask me, yes. And that's it. Now you can see that the rung over here has turned green and the power is not being transferred towards this side and nothing is happening. Okay, so now I have already connected the wires that can be seen on the trainer board. So now let's turn on the first two buttons which are connected to I 0.0 and 0.1. So if both of these buttons are on, the output Q0.0 will turn on. So you can see that both of the outputs are on and in the software as well, you can see that the first rung has turned on. And as for the second rung, if any of the out inputs, that is I1.4 and I1.5, they turn on, the output will turn on. So if I press this push button over here, the second output will turn on, which is Q0.1. And on the software, you can see also see that the output has turned on. If I press the other one, the same thing happens. And if I press the both, then the output is still on. So dear learners, we have connected our Siemens S7 1200 series PLC with our laptop, used TIA portal to program a very simple letter diagram, downloaded that letter diagram into our PLC and connected certain inputs and outputs to our PLC and saw that running. So I hope that now you can build projects on TIA portal 15 version and connect your PLC to the software and get it running. Hopefully in our next videos, we are going to see a lot more about TIA portal and the Siemens S7 1200 series PLC. 
Till then, take care and goodbye.